Today I'm out in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I've driven out to Coeur d'Alene today to soak in the water, get some fresh air, get a little exercise, trying to stick to my goal of getting outdoors even in the months when the weather isn't great. It's pretty cold today, it's pretty gloomy. I filmed a video out here in the summer, if you didn't see it, it's one of my favorite videos that I've done all year because the drone footage was so dreamy. It was an amazing day for drone flying. But if you didn't see that video or you've never heard of Coeur d'Alene, it's this great town in Northern Idaho. It's about 15 minutes past the Washington border and it's so cute. It has shops and restaurants and a beautiful lake for lake activities. It also has a really nice resort that just sits right on the water. However, aside from this year, I don't know if I have ever come out here not in the summertime. Like I think of this as a summer spot because you can go swimming. It's beautiful. It's a totally different vibe. It's so quiet. This would be packed in the summertime. Like all of this, you'd see people everywhere and it's just quiet. I feel like I've seen pictures that like right here along the water back in the marina that there's like a really nice lights display. So maybe we have that to look forward to today. But until then, I'm gonna go on a little hike. I mentioned in my video from the summer that this hill that sits right next to the water called Tubbs Hill has a really nice, pretty easy hike that you can do. It's like a two mile loop, not a lot of elevation and the path kind of follows the water line. So you get water views all the way around. And I thought it would be a nice way to get out, get a little exercise get my steps today. I wanna to say thank you to Backcountry for sponsoring today's video and keeping me warm. I'm wearing some gear from them, like this super cute bear beanie by Pendleton. I love this. And then the tights that I'm wearing, are the best tights for hiking I have ever found. They're the Fall Raven Abisco trekking tights. And what's so unique about them is they have this like grippy, tough material on the knees and on the butt. So if you're sitting on rocks, climbing over rocks, like climbing on your hands and knees to like scramble up something, those parts of the tights are really reinforced so you won't be tearing them on anything. Backcountry has tons of great outdoor brands like Patagonia, Arcteryx, Smartwool. They're also also partnered with the Nature Conservancy to support its mission to protect lands and waters. You can even donate to the Nature Conservancy when you're checking out on the site. They have gearheads available 24 seven to help you find exactly what you're looking for for your next adventure. And they've given me a coupon code for you guys. If you use the code Allison15, you'll get 15% off your purchase on backcountry.com. And I will have that listed with a link down in the description. definitely over prepared for today. I thought there might be snow and ice on the trail because we've been getting so much snow and it has been so cold. Like even yesterday it was blizzarding. I posted a video on my stories of like the snow falling and today it's nearly 40 degrees and it's warmed up and it's pretty much all melted. I had something happen this morning that I wanted to tell you guys about slash ask you guys about to see if any of you have ever experienced this or know, like have any insight as to why this could have happened. I was driving out here this morning and my phone was in the center console of my car face up. I presume it was locked. I mean, I wasn't using it or anything, so I would imagine it's locked and the face was up. So it wasn't like touching things. And I was driving down the road and it just lit up your emergency contacts have been notified. Like the SOS contact system went off in my phone and then I was driving and all of a sudden my phone was ringing, my husband was calling me, my dad was calling me. It had sent them some SOS thing with like a map of my location and I have absolutely no idea how that could have happened. I've been racking my brain all day because I wasn't on my phone and I think like the emergency SOS thing, you have to swipe it, like slide a bar and I wasn't on my phone and my phone was face up so it couldn't have like accidentally like slid like if it was in a purse or something if it was like jostling around. I do have an Apple watch that has an SOS thing on it as well but it's a few generations old and I think it's like the newer versions that have like fall detection or heart attack detection or like things like that where it would call an SOS like I don't think 
this has anything. And the whole thing actually reminded me of something else that happened a few years ago. I don't know if what happened today was a glitch or my error, but if it was a glitch, it reminded me of the time that I had a major glitch with my Uber app. And to this day, after Googling, after talking to people, I have never ever heard of somebody else having this happen. So it was like three or four years ago, I was down in LA for a few days and I was over at a friend's house. I stayed kind of late. I think I called an Uber around 10 p.m. And their house was in a really residential area, very cool quiet, not a lot of traffic. And when the app told me that my car had arrived, I remember walking outside of their house and the entire street was empty, like dark, no cars or anything, except for two cars parked and running right in front of their house. So I pulled up the app and I looked at the license plate number to determine which of the cars was mine. And the first car that I looked at had the same license plate number as the one in the app, so I got in. About 60 to 90 seconds later, we're speeding down the road and my phone starts to ring and it's a number that I don't recognize. And for some reason I answer it. I don't usually answer if I don't recognize the number. So I answer it and it's a man who says, hi, is this Allison? I'm your Uber driver. I was waiting on the street. Was that you that just got into a different car? And let me tell you the phrase, your blood turning cold. So I very calmly was like, excuse me, can you pull the car over? And the driver pulled over immediately. So then I was like, huh, okay. So he pulled over. So I pulled up the license plate again and I asked the driver of the car I was in if that was his license plate. And he said, yep, that's my license plate. And I was looking at his dash and he had like the phone and he had like my Uber profile and like a route on it. It all looked very legit. So basically what happened is the Uber app called two drivers to the same location. Two drivers were able to pick up the same ride. That's how the other driver had my phone number and knew my name and like saw me get in the other car and to this day I have never heard of somebody else calling an uber and having two cars show up anyway I'm gonna go ahead and head back toward town I think I see some Christmas lights starting up over there so we'll go take a look at those <laughs> This is so pretty. They have the entire marina done up with lights and it looks like they're doing some sort of like North Pole cruise or experience or something because I saw people back there in like a sign. I don't know if I've ever seen so many Christmas lights like on the water, over the water, but they're all reflecting. It's making it look just like a mirror of Christmas lights. It's so pretty. Such a nice night for a walk on the boardwalk. This is amazing. I'd heard there was a Christmas lights display, but I didn't realize it was this extravagant. The entire marina water area, everywhere you look, everything is lit up. It's so nice. If you are looking for somewhere to just go take a walk and soak in some holiday cheer. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up here. It turned out a little more Christmassy than I was expecting, which is never a bad thing. I hope you guys enjoyed coming out to Coeur d'Alene with me at a different time of year to see more of it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.